Guybrush, come over here, gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids, you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. <laughs> it's so... lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow! What should we do next? We gotta get to Scurvy Dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. How much are the Scurvy Dogs? Scurvy Dogs are only a half piece of eight. That's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. What should we do next? Let's look for change in the outhouse. Maybe we can find enough to get scurry dogs. Can we get some chicken foot fries? You got two pieces of eight? No. Then no f I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my- They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Put it back on the hook. I'm not your monkey. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. That's where the outhouse key was. It says... Return outhouse key when finished. The words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. What should we do next? Let's look for change in the outhouse. Maybe we can find enough to get scurvy dogs. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Good, you unlocked it. Stuff. Smells the same as a toilet. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Ugh. Gross. 
I don't see any coins. Not real ones, anyway. I dare you to pick up that slug. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dot warm by sticking it in your armpit? Gross. Gross. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. In France, they call a scurvy dog a chien score. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't see very well. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. So good! What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I wonder where those two people we were following went. I can stand on my head. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Exhibit removed. Aw. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. No way. That's my friend D. Hey, D. Hey, Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage than the current But you can still on a modern anchor. That's to prevent a little flip. Most anchor about three all. But the old the word anchor. They're called, yeah. <sighs> Hey, Chucky, want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> hey, hands off. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the... I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days, you have no regard for personal property. And gotta run! How rude. What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. I have an extra two. Give it some of your bread. It looks full. Do you want a sword fight with me? You don't look very challenging. Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way. You'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. Uh-uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. 
At home, I've got a collection of old- Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if! I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I wish Chucky had a mustache. Ah! <laughs> Are we done here? We might not be able to come back. Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun! But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Well, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? The truck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no. I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. 
He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, huh. I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. Re-elect Governor Carla. I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here. seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are, exactly? Just a humble pirate, unworthy to be in your august presence. And yet, here you are. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison? Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like, famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. Exactly! It's a raid. Fine. Well, don't keep us in suspense. What's the target? I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a mystery for the ages that must be solved. The only mystery here is who let you into this bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes. The dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do- <laughs> No. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are- <laughs> Fine. I don't need you or your money. 
I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. I like the old pirate leaders better. Ooh, the name seems to fit even better than it used to. Elaine? Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter. Just like you. Yeah, I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. The new local leadership was less than supportive. Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks. I'll try that. I have to get... Oh, so do I. Bye. Bye. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carlo the Swordmaster. Franco, the problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. It doesn't look finished. It's Elaine's flyer about how long Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. They're having a half off sale. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon. Back shortly. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. Do you know the best place to look for a ship is at a dock. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride, free will. Way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles. Hmm. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. Now you must go. I have a luncheon. And your destiny lies at the docks. It does? Most assuredly. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Aye. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. It seems to be stuck closed. Employees only. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. Hi there, newcomer. Hello. Are these for customers? Not technically, but please. Help yourself. That charming old guy who mans the lookout keeps bringing them for the parrot. Thanks. I'll just take a few. It already looks well fed. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. Handsome looking parrot. And also... At the end of the... My mother's. Please don't touch it. What is that? It's definitely not a key. 
or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Of course. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. <laughs>